Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna set up a third-party SIP provider with Unify Talk. And that third-party SIP provider is gonna be VoIP MS. I do have an affiliate link down below in the description for VoIP MS. It doesn't change your price, but it does give me a bit of a kickback. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server, and I'll put the link in the description below. To set up a third-party SIP provider within Unify Talk, we need to do a bit of configuration. So we're going to go to the settings wheel in the Unify Talk application, and then we're going to click on system settings. From our system settings, we could see that they have third-party SIP setup, and we're going to add a third-party provider. I'm going to give it a name of VoIP MS. And then we need to add a bunch of different custom fields. And these custom fields will allow us to communicate to the VoIP MS servers. I found this really good write-up on the community.ui.com and I'll also post this down below if you wanna read it. The user Connor GG has told us which fields we need to be able to communicate with VoIP MS and let's take a look. These are all the custom fields that we're gonna need. We're gonna need proxy, we're gonna need realm, password, register, username, SIP underscore CID type, retry seconds and then expire seconds. So let's go back to Unify Talk and add those in. So we're gonna click on add field. The first field we'll put in is username and then we'll hit the plus icon and then we'll do password. We'll do register and then we'll do SIP underscore CID underscore type. We need to add proxy, realm, retry seconds and then the last one will be expire seconds and then we press done now we can see all the custom fields are in our unified talk and we need to populate these once we have a VoIP MS account created we can see that we have our username here and that's what we're going to input in the username field in unified talk if you don't already have a DID from VoIP MS, we could order a DID. Then we could specify where we are located in the world, United States, Canada, international. I already have a DID, so I'm not gonna do that. But essentially our DID is our phone number. The next section is to add our password and the password is found under VoIP MS if we go to account settings. And then we would go over to security and this would be our main SIP IAX password. If you don't know what the password is, you could set random password and it will send it to your email and then you could change it. I do know my password, so I'm gonna enter that in the password section of Unify Talk. Now moving on to these other custom fields, register, we need this to be true as we're registering to the SIP servers. So we'll type in true. For the SIP underscore CID type, it's gonna be RPD. And the proxy and the realm are the SIP servers that we're communicating with with VoIP MS. So to figure out which one you're talking to, we go back to VoIP MS, and then we click on our default DID routing and scroll down. We could see that I'm communicating to Toronto7.VoIPMS, so I'm gonna copy that name, and I'm gonna put that for the proxy and for the realm. The retry seconds are gonna be 30, and then the expire seconds, you could either have it at 120 or 60. I found it worked on both, I'll have it at 120. Now this destination countries, this is for our outbound calls. So where we're gonna allow it to call to. I'm gonna select a country, I'll choose Canada. And then we'll also choose the United States because I wanna make North American calling. And then we'll press save. And this next section is to manually import numbers. So this would be for inbound calls to your DID with VoIP MS. For this, we need to put in plus the country code and then our phone number. And then we press enter. So now we can see that phone number is entered into here. We need to go down to IP address range. So we need to put in that SIP server IP address that we want it to communicate with. Looking back at the default routing, we can see we're on Toronto 7. It's getting an IP of 208.160.56. We will just copy and paste this in. Add IP address range. And it's just going to be the one IP, so it's a slash 32, and we'll press add. Scroll down to the bottom and then we'll press save. Now at the bottom, we could see that the provider VoIP MS, the status is turned on and we could see that the countries were allowed to call our Canada in the US. Now we need to assign this phone number to our user. So what we'll do, we'll go up to the users and groups. We could see I only have the one user and currently we're using the Unify Talk SIP service. 
So I'm gonna edit this user, we'll click on manage, and then we're gonna change our phone number. So we'll scroll down and we can see that VoIP MS is unassigned. I'll click on that and we'll press save. So now let's go ahead, we'll try an outbound call and we'll also try an inbound call to this VoIP MS number. All right, I've now dialed my phone number incoming and you should be able to hear that ringing. Now let's try a phone call going out to my cell phone. And my phone number typed in on my Ubiquiti phone, we're gonna call. We should see it go off on my cell phone. And we could see that the phone number from VoIP MS is coming through on my cell phone. So that's it for the setup for VoIP MS on Unify Talk. We could point this number towards our Unify Auto Attendant if we'd like. If you're using another SIP provider, you just need to figure out which custom fields they require and then input that into the third party SIP custom fields. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.